What's up gamers? Today I'm going to be telling you all of the fun and cute little things you can do in the winter season of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Let's get it. So one of the really cute new things about winter is obviously the freaking snow everywhere. It's so adorable. Even on the beach the palm trees are covered in snow. And look at my orchard. All the trees are filled with snow and they look so cute. Just look at me running around. Even the bamboo looks cool now. So after you log on and see all the cute snow everywhere, you should check your mailbox because you'll see that you got a letter from your mom. So every once in a while your mom will send you things and this time she sends you a really cute sweater. So I just wanted to show you and wear it. It's called Mom's Hand Knit Sweater. Another thing that you'll notice when it's snowing, because it doesn't rain anymore, it snows, you'll see that your villagers are wearing these super cute winter hats and fun winter outfits. And I think they look adorable, so you should clap for them. It's adorable, look at that. And sometimes they'll come up to you and give you a fun gift. I wasn't expecting this, but she gave me a festive wreath. So thank you so much, Cherry. So similar to the past seasonal events, you're able to catch things. So this time, obviously, since it's winter, you can catch snowflakes and you just find them flying around. I don't know if it's because it's snowing that I'm finding a bunch or if there's just a bunch in general, but I think you can catch them at any time. They're just flying around in the sky. So here's me catching a bunch of snowflakes for you to see. And I also decided that I would clear out my pumpkin patch since it's not really fall anymore. So we're gonna use this for something different later and you'll see that. I'm hoping to turn this area into something more winter themed. So stay tuned for that. So one feature that I've always loved from the past Animal Crossing games was the ability to make snowmen. It's so cute. You basically just kick a little snowball around and I think you only get two a day. So if you end up like breaking one or like dropping it in the river or something, you can just go into another building like your house or something and then a new one will spawn. So as you can see, I'm rolling my little snowballs together to try and make the perfect snowman. And here we are. We got a snow boy and he's very nice. <laughs> So these snowmen you can actually talk to and they'll say some cute little things and this one will give you something called a large snowflake so you can make a fun recipe. It's called a snow person head and I'll show you me crafting that in a few seconds. You can also get frozen or ice sculpture kind of recipes from these snowmen and you use the snowflakes to craft them. And here's me wearing it. It's kind of weird looking but look at us. We're best friends. Also, when you first log in and you're talking to Isabel for her little morning announcements, she tells you that if you shake the trees, the cedar trees that are dressed up with holiday lights, ornaments will fall out. And so here's me shaking some trees. As you can see, you can get a blue ornament, a gold ornament, and a red ornament, which you can use to craft this ornament wreath. You don't actually need the red ornaments for this, it's just six blue and two gold, but I'm sure the red will come in handy later. And once you have your materials, you can go ahead and start crafting. So here I am showing you me crafting the ornament wreath and then here's me hanging it up on my door. Super cute and perfect for the season. So this kind of takes a while, at least in my experience, but if you shoot down some balloons, you may find a recipe inside of them. And these recipes are things that you can craft using the ornaments that you get from the trees, as well as like other materials like wood and other stuff. And they're really cute festive themed items, so I ended up finding a festive tree which goes in the seasonal section, as well as a big festive tree. Another adorable thing about the winter season is all the fun festive Christmas decorations. And I also checked the bulletin board because I'm a Sagittarius and my birthday message was posted up. My birthday is December 21st, y'all are all invited. And when you go inside the adorably decorated town hall or residence service building, you can find the seasonal items in the nook stop. So there's a cute wallpaper for the Aurora Borealis and a midwinter sweater. It's adorable and I'm sending one to a friend because you can do that. And if you want to take part in this giving spirit, you can use any of these fun Christmas themed note cards, papers. They're super cute and I'm just writing a fun little message here. Very nice. And just like every new season or month, you get new fish, bugs, and little diving things. So I caught this pond smelt, which was new to December. And you can also get a string fish, a sea butterfly, a bunch of other things. And you can go diving. The main new thing for diving is called a lobster. And I ended up catching one bad boy right here. They're super fast, but you just gotta creep on them and then you'll get one. So in addition to the lobster, I recommend you also get the mussel, turban shell, and spiny lobster since those are leaving in December. 
And then the only new bug that you can catch is the dunk beetle, which is super cute because it pushes around a snowball. And if you've been catching all the bugs since the game came out in March, then you've completed your collection since the dung beetle is the last one you need. And just like the town hall, of course, Nook's Cranny is all decorated for the holiday season. Look how cute it is with a little Christmas tree out front. We're going to go inside. And here you notice that the Nook's Cranny is doing the same thing they did for summer and Halloween. And they have another slot for you to buy items, Ellen. And these are going to be like a bunch of toys and stuff for Toy Day, which is like Christmas. So I got an RC helicopter. Also, the inside of Nook's Cranny is decorated with little string lights and a cute snowman. It just looks adorable. Look at us clapping together. We're best friends. You should also make sure to get some wrapping paper at the little cabinet for wrapping your Christmas presents. And after you do your Christmas shopping over at the Nook's Cranny, you should stop into the Able Sisters where you can find some super cute new festive items, such as the festive tree dress in all these different styles, as well as some fuzzy hats and even a reindeer hat, like the little ram hats and some pom-pom boots, which is super cute. I just put this fit together. We love it. So basically just have fun in winter, y'all. Enjoy it. It's super cute with a little snow on the ground. Make as many snowmen as you can. This is actually the festive wreath that Cherry gave me, so pretty cute. Thank you so much for watching, gamers, and I'll see you in my next video. Now enjoy the artistic stylings of Cherry playing a ukulele on the floor and me dancing next to her. Uh -huh.